this is a model of bone tissue. Uh, we have both compact bone here and spongy bone. Covering the bone, we have uh, a periosteum, which has an outer fibrous layer and an inner uh, cellular layer. Uh, we can see uh, that the bone, which is connective tissue, is highly vascularized. We have these perforating canals coming in from the outside, also known as Volkmann's canals. And then coming up through the middle, we have uh, more blood coming up through the central canal here. From the central canal, the blood reaches cells by going through uh, what we call canaliculi. So all the different cells are connected together through those canaliculi and extensions of the osteocytes. There are actually gap junctions between the osteocytes. Now, this is what we call compact bone, and you can see it's arranged in what we call osteons. Uh, each osteon looks somewhat like a tree trunk that's been cut in, uh, in half. Uh, the circular rings are called lamellae. As I said before, the little connections between the cells are called canaliculi. In each, uh, we have an osteocyte uh, in the um, lacuni. Uh, we have lacuni also, remember, in cartilage, but we have lacuni in bone too. So these are, ca these are called, um, again, osteocytes. Some of them are uh, interstitial osteocytes, leftovers you might say as the bone grew. Now notice that in each osteocyte we have uh, collagen fibers and they're running in different directions and that strengthens the bone. Over here we have spongy bone and you can see a lot of red bone marrow here. We do not have uh, true osteons here. Uh, we have uh, parallel lamellae but they're not really true osteons. But lots of blood here, and the red bone marrow, that's where we're making things like uh, the uh, formed elements of the blood.